Order. The result of the division is I 71, no 72. The question is therefore negative. And after question time, I will be taking the time to consider my position. Order. The Leader of the Opposition. Mr Speaker, I move that this House has confidence in your speakership. Order. 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 It's supposed to be on your side. Order. Order. The order. Order. The Leader of the Opposition would require leave. Well, Mr. To Speaker, I seek leave uh, to move uh, that this House uh, has confidence in your speakership. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. Th thank the Leader you. of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, and I thank uh, members opposite uh, for the opportunity to move this motion. And I uh, may not detain the House for quite as long uh, as uh, as I have on the clock. But, Mr. Speaker, um, obviously uh, uh, we have been in uncharted and difficult parliamentary waters uh, ever since uh, the parliament resumed after the last election. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, in the circumstances where the government uh, cannot uh, naturally command a majority, uh, the job of the speakership is even more difficult than usual. Now, Mr Speaker, I want to say that under difficult circumstances, you have done your job uh, with commendable impartiality uh, and with considerable forbearance. I know, Mr Speaker, that all members of this House from time to time try your patience. Uh, I, I know from time to time I do. I suspect from time to time the Prime Minister does. Uh, Mr Speaker, all of us in this House are trying to make political points, as we should, uh, given that this House's job uh, is to determine the great questions before uh, our nation. But, Mr Speaker, I don't think anyone on this side of the House has anything other than respect for the, diff for the job you do under difficult circumstances. And the last thing any of us would want to see uh, is you feel that you have been compromised in your ability to discharge uh, your office uh, by the vote that has just been taken. Whatever we on this side of the House think of a particular decision, uh, that you might have just made, we do have deep and abiding confidence in your ability to run this House, Mr Speaker. I want to put it on the record that it is not the opinion of this side of the parliament uh, that anyone uh, could do a better job than you uh, in maintaining uh, the order and the discipline of this House. So you have discharged uh, your, your office very effectively uh, in the previous parliament. If I may say so, uh, Mr Speaker, you have done your job with even more dignity and more assurance and more command in the, in the more difficult circumstances of this parliament. As you know, Mr Speaker, uh, when there was some question uh, as to whether uh, the government would re-nominate you uh, in the uh, weeks after the election, uh, it was the position of the opposition of the coalition that you should be renominated, and nothing has changed in the intervening nine months uh, to alter that view of the opposition that you are by far and away uh, the best person uh, to take the chair, that you are by far and away uh, the best person to run what is inevitably a difficult, uh, a difficult uh, uh, to do a difficult job uh, in the circumstances of a hung parliament. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, uh, I really do uh, understand uh, how uh, uh, you would be feeling uh, at this present time. Um, you made a call. It was the best call uh, that you uh, could make in your judgment at that time. Uh, on this side of the House, we <coughs> respectfully disagreed with the call that you made. Uh, as it happened, uh, our judgment was backed by the House, but the fact that on this particular occasion, this solitary occasion, uh, your judgment uh, has not been supported by the House, please do not for a moment think that that indicates any want of confidence in your speakership. And that is why I am moving, I am moving this motion. Mr, Mr. Speaker, um, please, please. Um, do not judge uh, what is the appropriate thing to do 
uh, in the circumstances of this House by what might have been the appropriate thing to do in the circumstances of very different houses. This is, in this respect at least, genuinely a new paradigm. In this respect at least, it is genuinely a new paradigm. And please, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, do not add to the difficulties of this day by feeling that you cannot continue in the chair. Here, here. Is the motion seconded? The Prime Minister. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I rise to second the motion. And of course, Mr. Speaker, the government has continuing confidence in you as the Speaker of this Parliament. It's not, a, it's not an easy job. It's uh, definitely not an easy job in contested political circumstances uh, to deal with all of the things that come before you in this Parliament. What I think was very evident by my conduct at the dispatch box. I didn't hear you even name someone. The no noise was so great. I am not able to say, standing at this dispatch box, what you named them for. I couldn't hear that either. Uh, because the level of noise was so great. Uh, but of course, I exercise continue to take to providing confidence in you, and I would ask members of the opposition to reflect on that for the future. As for today, Mr. Speaker, we are where we are, and the Leader of the Opposition Order. has taken Order. the appropriate action. Order. Given the way in which the uh, opposition has cast its votes, uh, in those circumstances, I think the Leader of the Opposition has done the right thing, which is why I am prepared to second the resolution Order. to confirm to you that the government has complete confidence in you continuing, and I believe, having heard from both me and the Leader of the Opposition, you should accept that display of confidence. Uh, in the full exercise of your good judgment on this matter.